Okay, hello guys, this is Ghost Boy, or Lucas, and this is actually, oh, okay, this is a response to, um, uh, Watch Tech. I have recently received, I, uh, okay, let me start the, a couple weeks ago, I sent a message into Watch Tech, saying, you're probably, you're not probably able to read this, but it's probably going to all be really low quality, because I'm live streaming this, then uplo uploading it to YouTube from the live stream, because I only have a week to respond to the question. And uh, before they write it off as um, uh, resolved, and it's not resolved, and so I don't have time to make a video and upload it because I don't have my school internet connection, which is what I used to upload YouTube YouTube videos. Now, anyway, I was sent a message. I well, I sent a message out to them saying that Logitech game software does not work. I have my gamepad right here, as you can probably hear by that. This is a gamepad F310 or F310, whatever. Um, uh, here's the response, probably can't, that they were sent to me. But basically, the Logitech game software it doesn't work. And I'm going to show an example of that in a second. But in the response, they say that I did not show enough information with my question, even though I wrote out a fairly long thing. They want me to send in a response um, uh, in the form of a picture. And that picture should... Um, uh, show the error log. I mentioned multiple times in my question that no error log is anywhere to be found, but okay then. Maybe it was some sort of automatic response or something. But anyway, so let's go to the Logitech website here. Let's go to Logitech.com and then once it loads we're going to go to Products, Gaming, Gamepads, and here's my gamepad, the gamepad F310. That's it right there. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to go to support. Now, I lost the disc to this, which is unfortunate, but it would be something pretty good to show here. But I don't have it, so that's it's too bad. Uh, but anyway, go to downloads. We're going to go Windows 7, because that's what I have. 64-bit. Because I have a 64-bit operating system. Number 4... Uh, I continue on. I would like to mention that I tried the 32-bit version, and I get an error log. But it's an error log basically saying, you don't, this is not the right version for your computer. Don't use it. As for other OSs, I have tried them. None of them work. <clears throat> so I'm going to download this. I already have downloaded it. I'm going to close that. I've downloaded this multiple times. Just recently, I've downloaded it, downloaded it like four or five times. So I'm going to go to my downloads. Here it is, the exe that you get. Nope. What are you doing? Cancel. Here's the exe you get. I'm going to open that. It's going to say, would you like to run? Yes. It's going to leave a big white screen, apparently. Alright, so it's going to start extracting everything that we need for it to actually install. It is taking longer because I'm live streaming. I, did, I already recorded this video once I was recording, and this went by extremely fast. But apparently, live streaming requires for something a little bit more heavy resource, resource intensive heaviness. I don't know. I'll get back to that in a second. But anyway, so this is going, going, skip forward in the video. Because it's just going, it's going, it's going. Damn, look at it go. It's moving fast and slow at the same time. But anyway, we're going to come in here to just uh, in the meantime. I have tried installing this version. It is an old version of the product. This one doesn't work either. But anyway, going to the new version, Logitech and Gaming Software. Here it is. We'll get back to that in a second. So we're going to say yes. We're going to go English. And then next we're going to go accept. I'm not going to hit install because I just installed this like five minutes ago. I don't want it to take an hour. It doesn't actually take an hour. It takes like five seconds. But I don't want to do that just because that extraction process took a lot longer than normal. I don't want this to take a lot longer than normal and waste time. But yes, I just did install this like five minutes ago when I recorded the first version of this. And then realized that I wasn't going to have a way to upload it. But anyway, coming back, wrong thing. 
here's our folder. I'm not sure if I can kind of zoom in on this. Yeah, there's a magnifier app and it's built into this shit. Magnifier, yeah, there. So we're going to open this up. And as you can see, here's the, uh, that's annoying. So we're going to put this over here. So here's the EXE. It probably doesn't help that much. Can I? Here we go. Let's make that a little bit more zoomed in, just in case. So here's the .exe. L-W-E-M-O-N .exe. I don't actually know what that really stands for. But ignoring the fact that I don't know what that stands for. There's all kinds of shit in here. I'm a uh, readme, which is, I've read that multiple times, not important. But so here's the program. So let's open it. We're going to need a loading thing. Nothing's going to happen. I'm going to come down here and open up my task manager just uh, to bring this up. I'm going to look at all of our tasks here. Do you see Logitech anywhere? Do you see Logitech game software? I think not. It's not in there. It doesn't run. Let's try it again. Does it appear in here? Nope. Nothing happens. Right click it. It's going to load. And there are properties. We're going to go compatibility. Right now I'm running it in serve Windows Service Pack, which I did not actually realize I was doing. But anyway, ignoring that. We're going to do that. It pops up for like a fraction of a second in here, and then goes away. Nothing happens. Let's run it as an administrator. Let's go all out. Run it as an administrator. See what happens. The pop up in here? Of course not. Right click. Properties. Compatibility. Run. Let's run in Vista Service Pack 1. Why not? Just to try it one more time. There it is. There it is. Wait, no. That's not that word. I saw it. Wait. Oh, it's gone. Let's not run it in there. But anyway, so... Now they want me to send in an error log picture. Do you see an error log? I see all this shit. I don't think that that's not error logs. It's just the program's information. Any error logs here? Anything? Nope. Got all this shit. There's no error log. It just isn't here. Here we go. Temp. Nothing. LU. All this shit, Logitech updated, that's not going to do anything besides the newest version. Back. FW. I don't even use that G940. Why is that in there? How is that relevant? <sighs> Whatever. Ignoring that, that's all that I can really say about this. It just doesn't work straight up. I've tried running it in my computer in safe mode. I've not re tried reinstalling Windows because I don't want to deal with that. But I could if I really, really wanted it. But I really don't want it that bad. I want this program to work. But I'm not going to go to the point of reinstalling everything on my computer. And I just don't know what to say. I think that I'm done here. See you guys next time.